hey there, Brew Bearings. I hope you guys are doing well. It's been a while since I've made a video. And uh, today, yeah, we're back in Minecraft. Finally back making a video for y'all. Uh, today's going to be also we're using our texture pack. Uh, today's going to be a little bit of a slow day. We're just starting out and um, I'm kind of thinking this is going to be just kind of like a chill and build type of series. So some of you may be wondering, where have I been? And I'd like to just relax, play the game and, and just talk at you for a bit to talk about kind of where I've been, what's been going on. Uh, if you've been in my Discord, you'll know a little bit about the situation, but I wanted to go more into detail about it uh, since I have been gone for, what, like four or five months now? I don't remember exactly when I didn't stop making videos. Um, but, well, firstly, I kind of want to get out of this forest. I don't really love starting in, like, a snowy area. It's not really my, my vibe, but you know what? We'll, we'll make it work. We could build, like, a Viking house, I guess, maybe. I don't know. I don't really have any plans right now for... What is this? Oh, it's a flower. I'm not used to my, <laughs> my texture pack. Um, I don't really have any plans for this series aside from just... Just chilling. The whole point of it is to not stress out about making crazy awesome things in every video. We're going to make progress on things, of course, but we're not going to stress out about needing to make the next big thing every single video. Uh, and I just that's just for my own sanity. And uh, I'd rather just have fun making the videos than stressing out about doing something unique every single time. So I've been gone for a while because of a few different things. So initially it started out as a, a break where I normally take a break. Uh, so normally we would take a kind of take a slow break um, between November and January because that was like the end of the fiscal year for my work. And we would normally that would that would just kind of be standard. Um, we would take a break and come kind of reconvene it. Uh, let's just make all them sticks there. Uh, and uh, I'm going to get stone before I make any other tools. So that was that's not necessarily out of the ordinary. But then the break kind of got prolonged by a lot more time. Oh, well, OK, we're down here. Uh, a lot more time than I initially intended for it to. Because I my company started doing layoffs in January. So I was taking the break uh, and just focusing on closing the year out, make sure like that it was good. Then the company announced January 2nd or 3rd that it was going to be get out of here. Pickaxe. Actually, come back here. I want to make a, a chest and we'll ha we'll hang on to it. So they announced that they were going to be doing some layoffs. And so because of that, I was like, hmm, well, that's not good. I'm going to focus on my work just to buff up the numbers as best as I can to hopefully prevent myself from getting laid off. Uh, well, that did not work. And I got laid off in February, at the beginning of February. Uh, so that is kind of why I initially, so I was initially taking time off to focus on just work in general, closing out the year. Then that converted to needing to just be focused on job hunting and searching and stuff. And so now I'm at a point where I've been in the job hunt for a couple months now. Uh, I've got a few different leads of potential jobs that could be coming my way um, or hope maybe some more like freelancing type of design work or something. And so I'm not as terribly stressed as I once was. So because of that, I figured that I could do some more video work. Um, and so that is why we are back. And uh, I wanted to play some Minecraft because I haven't played this game literally since I, I kind of stopped playing my playing Minecraft last year. Um, it's also very dark and I'm, I'm terribly sorry that it's so dark. Here, let me fix that. We don't have Optifine installed. This is just good old regular vanilla bland boring Minecraft and kind of just because 120 is going to release at some point. And so I figured 
might as well just play regular old Minecraft. But yeah, so that's kind of the situation um, in a nutshell. Got laid off in the job hunt. And so things are going all right. Oh, there's some coal over here. Things are going all right. Uh, how dark? Are my video settings still dark? No, uh, they're on full bright. Okay. Anything bad over here? No. Nothing bad. I forgot my gravel texture is like this. I don't know if I like it or not. I can't tell. Uh, you'll have to let me know if you want me to continue using my texture pack or not. I can always switch back to the good old vanilla, uh, type of textures, but I am fine with anything. Um... So that's kind of the situation that I've been dealing with uh, for the past couple months. Um, and yeah, it's just, it's unfortunate. And I'm kind of annoyed at the fact that it happened. Not really anything I can do about it at this point. Um, what is the view like over here? Because I could make a house here. But a snow plane's just really ain't my vibe. And I don't really want to stay here, I don't think. But yeah, so we, we're we going to have some strangeness. So if I seem off or anything, it's probably just that development's in that front uh, being a little weird. But yeah, I'm just applying for jobs, trying to find the next move for me in my career. Oh, I did not make a shovel. Did I? I did not. Hello, dirt. Whoa, are you a big old hole? Uh, Relatively large, but we will ignore you for now because I want to get out of this biome it doesn't seem like the end of the biomes anywhere nearby so i guess it's wandering time for us that's the basic update uh, and so i wanted to i i made a full video kind of detailing everything out and then it was kind of like ah it just doesn't seem i had was gonna do like guild wars 2 in the background and i was like ah it's probably better if i'm considering playing oh hello polar bear oh nope you've got a child I want nothing to do with you. Go away. But uh, yeah, I, it just didn't feel necessarily uh, right to do a Guild Wars 2 video with an update <laughs> for some reason. In my head, I was just like, nah, let's just do, if I'm going to do Minecraft, I might as well do Minecraft as the update video. So that is uh, why we are here now. And I've been wanting to play the game again a bit. It's been, uh, I'm wanting to take a different approach for the YouTube stuff than uh what we were doing before we're still gonna try to make like good progress and stuff each episode don't get me wrong but i'm not gonna stress as much about it because it's just not worth it like youtube is definitely a hobby oh thank the lord piggy thank you for your lifeblood uh there's another one over here isn't there yes there is hello piggy oh one shot with the old axe gotta love it kind of a epic little gorge here i forgot i made this texture i actually really like it i think it looks pretty cool i've not really made many animated pixel art type textures but this one's pretty neat i am patting myself on the back for this one it's pretty it's a pretty good one if you like the texture pack and the dirt and stuff that you see uh then textures are on my patreon i don't necessarily update it all the time but uh it's there so if you want it that's the place to get it I hope you guys have been doing well i've been doing great obviously some things in life are not going great i swear if this zombie comes and interrupts our, our little talking he's getting close oh my gosh he's right there hey um could i could i potentially could we trade i'll take your show hey come here i'm not done talking to you could i have your uh, excuse me we're talking here thank you get out oh uh i kind of like this little area we're in right now um for potentially a starter area i think it could be good this area up here is where i was talking that i kind of like the way that uh, the landscape looks it's like just on top of a hill type of area kind of cool i do enjoy it um not a huge fan of the surrounding landscape not my favorite. Oh, there's a portal thing down there. We'll have to go check that out. Um, not a huge fan of the surrounding area, so I don't think I want to necessarily settle here. Uh, excuse me. Thank you. Let me out. 
But for a starting area, it's not that bad. We could check out over there. There's a polar bear, though. Um, let's just set up shop here. Maybe we'll set up like a starter build or something like that. All right, now... Oh, you know, that island's kind of cool. It'd be maybe a little cool to, to build on it. I'm not really uh, digging the whole frozen aspect of it. If it was this area, but green, I, I might I might consider it. All right, well, while that grows, I think I'm going to go gather some resources and do a little more exploring in this direction. I don't really want to explore it that far since 120 is going to be coming out and my end goal is to go find a cherry blossom biome. I think that's going to be a really fun area to build in. I'm sure literally everybody else is going to build, be building in them as well. So I don't want to explore a super, super far, but I also want to find a place that's at least remotely interesting. Like, you know, this is more interesting than the area we are just currently in. So we could just move over there, but I'm just wanting to wander around a little bit. So I'm going to gather some resources and then I think we'll work on building a starter home. Just an itty bitty little guy. And uh, then I'll I'll be able to wrap it on up. All righty. I think this is going to be what our starting house is laid out like. So we're going to have a little entrance here that sticks off the front. It's going to essentially just be like a longhouse type of thing. Big big domed roof type of dealio not domed but you know what i mean like viking-esque style roof um and then i may honestly do actually a viking-esque style where it like just straight up goes down all the way to the ground i'm not sure uh either we'll do that or we'll do just viking style on the top but then it doesn't go all the way down but in order to progress i'm going to need some moss oh my gosh i'm glad i did not walk off of that I'm going to need some moss because I'd like to make it a mixture of moss and uh, dirt on the top so that it looks like it's a green roof. I think that could be really fun. We haven't done a green roof since the town of Moore, and so I thought that could be a really fun starting house, and then maybe this will end up being a village or something like that. I don't really know. I don't really have any plans. I'm not sure exactly if I want to make this into a town building type of series or just a series of building things that i want to build not really sure and that may entail towns but for now i am gonna go ahead and continue working on this i may try to just get the walls and the framework done i think that could be a good starting point and then uh i may try to find some moss if i find some i'll bring you back in but i'm going to continue progressing with this build and i'll see you once it's a little bit more complete well now begins the fun of trying to find moss i found dripstone pretty quickly so i'm hoping hoping that there's a moss cavern area lush cave somewhere nearby but we have to go exploring here in the water this is a poor decision. I should not do this. I don't have any form of water breathing. I'm going to go find a different cave. Well, that's a good sign. Clay. Way down here at negative 10. That can only mean one thing. Or, well, I hope it can only mean one thing. Okay, it says we're in a lush cave. It, it says that. I just don't know how much I believe it because... There's a bunch of clay, but does that mean we're at the bottom or the top? It just took forever to find. Like, we found that, that clay deposit. It was basically just a singular clay deposit. There really was not any, any real form of moss nearby. And even this is not that much moss. I found tons of lush caves that are far, far larger than this, with lots more. I mean, thankfully, lush caves are fairly safe like for the most part they're pretty much safe do the berries actually emit light or is it actually the ah, ah my inventory's so full all right after much waiting around for grass to grow like actually literally we're waiting for grass to grow in our backyard in our house because it's seed and uh, i was waiting for grass to grow here but here is what the house is currently looking like. Not fully done. Obviously, there's still some stuff we could do. 
Uh, but it's looking pretty good. I like the way that it's turning out. I'm going to add uh, some grass and stuff to the old roof -a Uh Doing the old place the grass 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 method because uh, I'm poor on bone meal and just don't want to deal with it. So, and I also don't want to click on the, uh, this stuff, whatever, the moss, because it'll transform stuff that I don't want to be grass into grass. And this all should, in theory, become grass because it's all connected, at least diagonally. Yes, indeedy. Okay, very good. Cool. So this row could use that, and boom. Okay, so then I'll use some bone meal to make it so... It's a little bit nicer. Add a, add a few of these little azura blue. It's the best flower in the game. And oh, what a rip a rooski on that grass. I spent so much time harvesting. That's okay. We'll add some uh, flowers here. Another floor. Another floor. Wow, I really just went in a U here. I didn't add any grass to the center here. Let me fix that real quick. And then final touches, gonna add a flower like that. And then right there, I'm gonna grab a few more of those eventually, but for now, this should add a lot, but I th think I have some bones. I think, oh, come on. Here's what the inside is looking like. Obviously there's no, well, ignore this. I'm just trying to get more of these. Uh, but obviously there's gonna be a roof, but I'm not gonna do the interior today. No need to do that. Um, we're going to have a nice little fireplace uh, that'll go up here. So this roof will get a little bit more uh, removed. But uh, yeah, it's got to have a nice little bit of a fireplace here. Bedroom is just this little little area here. Put some tables or something on the side. And then we've got a little kitchen bump out here, which I really like. And what am I looking for? This bones, beautiful bone meal. And anything else? Oh, we do have more dandelions. Very good, very good. So we'll go up here, add in those final touches, and then uh, really it's just I need bones, and I don't have that many, so I'm going to do that. Uh, three is probably good. Maybe, maybe four. We'll go four there, one there, right there, there, and we'll do five. On, nope, we won't do five because half of it's going to be taken up by the uh the fireplace thing and then we want some tall grass here to fully block that flower we just placed of course that's just how it works and i want okay we got that how's that maybe one more let's take a look i think that's actually good so we'll do use the rest of these on the other side just one on both sides Make it a little bit even. Uh, how about you? Will be good. And you. Very good. Okay. And then I will get more bones eventually. And we'll be able to deal with that. But this is what we're looking like. I'm pretty happy with it. I think it looks pretty good. Obviously, I need to do some groundwork and stuff. But I want to do that stuff next episode. The point of this series is to be able to... Oh, hello. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to probably kill them. But... Don't tell nobody. But the point of the series is to be chill. It's to be not having to deal with, like, like we, we made this build, and that's good. That's a good amount of progress. I don't need to stress about finishing it entirely and doing the full landscape and the whole mountainside and stuff. Like, there's no point in that. Who wants to do that? Not me. So, I hope you guys are in for the long haul on this whole chilled version of Bruin build. I just, we're going to tackle big things, but we might do them in slightly more bite-sized portions. Sir, you're getting in the frame. But I'll talk to you more about that next episode. I already have plans as to what we're going to be doing. i have It's been fun playing this because I've got so many little ideas as to what to do. Like I decided to do the Viking style because I felt like I wanted to do that. And the more I think about it, the more I'm like, man, this is going to be so many visitors today. But down here, I already have a great idea for what to do here. And we're going to do something to make it so this is watery uh, instead of frozen because it's boring when it's frozen. 
I'm not exactly sure how to do that, but we're going to try to make it so it's not always frozen. And uh, yeah, this island's going to actually end up being pretty cool, I think. It's going to be just, I don't know. I got some fun ideas, and I think it's going to be a fun time. So I hope you guys are ready for that. I'm glad to be back, and uh, we'll just figure out absolutely not. Well, that's pretty good, but we can get small drip leaf now. But yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you did, leave a like in real life, and I will see you guys in the next episode of Brood Build. Bye-bye. Uh,